So in this video we're going to start styling the web page and we want to start by setting some defaults for our web page. So from homework 4 you created an extended web uh, website for me that was about you. So you had an index page that introduced yourself and then you had two other folders uh, that were that had web pages in them that were about you. So I'm going to focus today on I, I made my own to go with that assignment so I have a sub site called outdoors and inside my outdoors I've got my fishing.htm page and if I load that page into a browser let's go desktop outdoors well if I load that into the browser right now you can see it's just plain Jane and we're going to go start going through styling this according to that layout that we mapped out in the first video. So we're going to start by defining some default behavior for the page. And the, so the first thing we need to do is create a style sheet that we can link to it. I should delete that and do it from scratch. So I'm going to go file, new file. Um, this is my outdoors kind of sub website. So I'm going to create a style sheet that I'm going to name outdoors and I'm going to put it in my style sheets folder so I'm going to go out doors for my outdoors subsite dot CSS I'll create my style sheet and then I need to link my style sheet to my web page so in the head section I use the link tag so link REL relationship the relationship between the file I'm linking and this page is that this is a style sheet for the page if I misspell that, it'll actually not, it won't work. So the spelling does matter there. Uh, the type of file is a text file. It is a, sorry, the type of file is a text file that contains cascading style sheet information. And the hypertext reference or web location is going to be, I'm in the phishing uh, the fishing.htm page is inside of my outdoors folder so I need to step back out of the folder and then open the style sheets folder and get the outdoors.css so when we're inside of a folder what we have to remember is to do the period period forward slash to step back out of the folder now look for the style sheets folder and then inside of the style sheets folder look for the CSS file called outdoors.css and this should be a self-closing tag if we want things to validate in the W3C validator. I'll save that and then I'll go back into here and I'm going to define some default behavior for the web page or pages. Every every page I put this link in will behave based on the style sheet uh, style sheet information so uh, usually what you want to do is use the asterisk uh, selector so the asterisk selector in CSS when you use the asterisk selector instead of like div or p or, p or the, the usual HTML selectors the asterisk selector is just says hey I'm setting default behavior for the entire uh, entire page every every tag on the page is going to inherit this default behavior and then one of the things you usually want to do is go in and take the borders and set them default everything to zero pixels and just in case uh, just in case the browser has some style sheet information in it that could override the behavior that you want you can go in and just take the border margins and padding and set them to zero as a default. So just something that's a good idea to do. So I'm setting some default behavior on my page. Every block level element starts with no border, no margin, no padding. And if I want it to have those, uh, those values, I will assign them myself. Uh, we're going to set our font family. So we'll set this to Arial as my default font. And then if there's no Arial, do a sans serif font. And then I get all persnickety because I like the stuff to. There we 
go. And then I wanted to set a background color for my page or for my site, a default background color. And I'm going to have to read this one. It's going to be, what is it, ACC1DD, I think is what I picked. And then I'm going to save this. And then I want to just, want, uh, so I did Control S. And now I'm just going to refresh my page and make sure that it's actually updating. And it says, if it doesn't update, it means I've got a mistake. I'm missing a semicolon or I have something wrong right here. See that extra S? It's going to keep it from loading. So I have to save that change. And there it's grabbing it. The thing that I mentioned earlier, even if you misspell this, like if I spelt the relation as a style sheet, if I misspell this even, so like let's say I missed the E, it won't work. So, so the common thing to look for is spelling errors because they're so easy to do and because you know what you want it to say, they're really easy to overlook. And then I like... I like my defaults to be set to uh, justified text. So I like to go in here and I like to set my um, text alignment to default to justified text. So that's going to set my, the asterisk selector is used to set defaults for the entire page. Uh, and that's kind of the first step is to go in and set your defaults and then make sure that your uh, style sheets actually linking up to your page and we're going to go ahead and save this video right here and we're going to work on the uh, container division next <laughs>